attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, when you need Nelson. You need Nelson. We're here at the library today because the library board is considering uh, a ban on carrying guns in a, uh, certain parts of the library. And we feel that that is a, a violation of our Second Amendment rights. People concerned because we feel that it is the beginning of taking away our, one of our rights, which is the right to uh, carry a gun. And that's our Second Amendment right. Also, the county commissioners, the four county commissioners that were at a meeting on Friday, and they all agree that th this should not be a ban allowed here in the library. Well, we have a library board, and that's appointed by the Board of County Commissioners. And so the, basically, the, the library board works for the county commissioners. And so if they decide to implement this, will it need to ultimately go through the county commissioners to be approved? The, uh, th that's, that's correct, and also the county commissioners have the right to remove the existing board and appoint new members. For those who may not know, I'm the reason the library is trying to ban guns in the story room. On October 1st, I took my two-year-old sister to baby time so my mom could have a break. She's a full-time homeschool mom. Susan, the manager, was there with her granddaughter. We weren't there October 8th due to the illness, but later that week, my parents went to the library and found the library had posted signs that said guns and other dangerous weapons were not allowed in the children's area. When asked about the sign, Susan said it was because she felt uncomfortable around me in the story room since I was open carrying. I'm going to stop here for a minute and mention that as per state law, I am not legally allowed to still carry. I have to be 21 to do that, so that's not an option for me. For those thinking, well, then don't carry, after all, she's in the open area. I'm a single young lady, and because of things like human trafficking, rape, kidnapping, and assault, it is my responsibility to protect myself and those around me. My question to Susan and the entire board is why now? Why is this a problem now? I have been carrying since March of this year, and I visit the library at least once a week. I carried all summer long during the breeding program while my brother participated in the activities, and no one objected to me doing so. Why is this a problem now? More than 20 people attending today's meeting spoke out against the proposed ban of guns in the children's reading area, many citing rights under the Second Amendment. However, four people did speak in favor of the proposed ban, saying that the children's story room is not a place for guns. The library board tabled any action. Instead, they'll revisit the issue sometime next spring.